Dealing drugs, punching a teacher, pouring olive oil on stairs, and pulling the fire alarm, there are plenty of ways to get suspended in high school. So here's a story on how I got suspended. And yes, it involves dildos. It all started the summer before my senior year. I was working a job at my school where me and a bunch of underpaid students would help move around furniture, basically taking everything from one classroom and moving it to another. Our supervisor was a guy named Pedro and was the only lazy Mexican I've ever met. The dude would bark out orders every day like a slave master. Listen up, I need you guys to take all these desks and move them to the second floor. Ah, uh, but Pedro, my back really Really hurts. Don't talk back to me, boy. The only nice part about the job was I got to see my entire school. Almost every door was unlocked and I got to see where everything was kept. Well, every door except for the principal's office. That was until one day when Pedro says, All right, kids, we got to move everything from the principal's office to another room. So as he opens the door, I make a mental note of which key he used. You see, this is where I began to hatch my scheme. After that, I really started to watch Pedro like DiCaprio at a high school graduation. Studying his habits and routine, I noticed that every day at 11 a.m. Pedro would take a lunch break in which he would leave his keys inside the janitor's closet. So one day when he drops off his keys, I quickly grab them, take the one I need, hustle to Home Depot, make a copy, hustle back, replace the key all without him noticing. As soon as I got home, of course I had to show all my homies. All of them are looking at the key like the first booby they've ever seen. Whoa! Oh my god! It's so hard. So what's the plan? Well, I was thinking we could take everything from Principal Murphy's office and uh, move it to the middle of the track field. Friends are like genius. Now, what I didn't tell my friends is I was also planning on leaving a huge sex toy in his desk. So that afternoon, I went to Spencer's and bought the biggest dildo I could afford. The cashier, who's trying not to smile, bags it up and says, you want the receipt inside? I'm like, sure, whatever, knowing there's no way I'm going to return it. Fast forward to senior year, and it's a crisp Wednesday morning when the bell rings between second and third period. I'm about 10 feet away from the stairwell when thousands of bouncy balls start to pull pour out from the ceiling. It turns out a few of my classmates got on the roof, opened up the skylight, and dumped a Hiroshima bomb of bouncy balls. It was pure chaos. People laughing, slipping, huddling for cover. It was beautiful. And this made my principal furious. He went to the PA system, basically telling people how irresponsible and potentially deadly this was. That's when I knew it was time for my prank. Because one prank is funny, but two is anarchy. And I really wanted to turn the school into a prison riot. So I gathered up my friends and was like, tonight is when we strike. So at 1.15 a.m. I drive my buddies down to the school. We sneak inside, open the door to the principal's office, and immediately realize there was a huge problem. The desk was way too heavy to move. You see, I'm fucking stupid and didn't realize when I moved it initially, there was nothing inside of it. We couldn't even take out the drawers because they're permanently attached. That's when I said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just dump everything on the ground. So we're just throwing files everywhere, which in retrospect was such a terrible idea because once the desk was light enough to move, we're all just slipping on the papers. But eventually we get it out of the office and bring it down to the track field. We didn't even bother to make it look halfway decent. Like, our original plan was to have everything look exactly like it was before, but we're all just like, screw it. And we just left it a mess and ran back to the car. As soon as we get inside, my buddies are like, let's go, let's go! I'm like, wait, there's one last thing. So I pop my trunk, take out the dildo, run down to the field, place it right in the center of his desk, and hustle back to the car. We speed off, and my friends are like, what was in that box? I'm like, oh, well, since Mr. Murphy is such a pussy, I decided to buy him a brand new dildo. Fast forward a few hours later, and I came to school early. I still remember walking in with a smile on my face as I can see his desk way off in the distance. Once school started, Mr. Murphy comes on the PA and is again furious, saying, Last night someone broke into my office and the police are coming to question students. Not gonna lie, when he mentioned the police, I began to panic a little, but overall, I still felt pretty good. That was until sixth period when the overhead announcements came on, telling me to come down to the principal's office. Everyone in my class was just like, Ooh. So I go to the office and Principal Murphy sits me down and tells me to confess. I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. He says, don't give me that bullshit. I know you did this. I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, did what? He says, you know, you're just like your deadbeat sister. And that's when something inside me snapped. I'm like, this motherfucker is trying to bring my family into this? Nuh uh So I say to him, wait, what happened to your desk? It looks a little disheveled. He says, I'm not the person you want to fuck with. And I said, hey, I don't see a wedding band on your finger. It doesn't look like anyone's fucking with you. He says, if you don't confess, I'll have you expelled. And I'm like, what evidence do you have? Hearsay from classmates? He says, no, you left the receipt in the dildo box, stupid. And right on the receipt, it says my full fucking name. And I'm like, no. How did this happen? Then I remembered, oh my god, when the cashier said, Do you want the receipt inside? I thought he meant inside the bag, not inside the box! But even with overwhelming evidence, I still said, Oh hey, there's my dildo. I've been looking for that everywhere. Needs to say, he doesn't buy it and suspends me for a week, which my mom eventually complained down to two days. When I came back to school, everyone treated me like I was the man. And I'm just walking around smirking, going, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, but by the way, did you guys hear Principal Murphy likes big black dildos? <laughs> So what did I learn from this? Well, two things. One, rebelling against authority is a great way to become popular. And two, when buying a dildo, never ask for a receipt. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. <sighs>
Push the button. 